Saviour Jesus Christ. Today we will uh, continue to look at the life of uh, Jacob. We turn with me to uh, Genesis uh, chapter 32, verse uh, 10. I am unworthy of all the kindness and faithfulness you have shown yourself. I had only my staff when I crossed this Jordan, but now I have become too gross. Now Jacob was uh, preparing to uh, meet his brother Isaac. Of course, uh, Jacob was really, really, really scared. So Jacob uh, goes to God in prayer. So it is in that context, Jacob uh, says these things. He says, uh, I am unworthy. I am unworthy. No, such a vast uh, difference. If you compare this uh, prayer to the uh, privacy who prayed in the parable of Jesus. In the parable of Jesus, the Pharisee actually exalted himself, giving the impression that he was worthy of all the blessings that he was enjoying in his life. But here, Jacob says, I am unworthy. And goes on to say, of all the kindness and faithfulness, he says, God, I'm unworthy, and yet you have been uh, faithful to me. I thank you for all the kindness that you have uh, shown me. He says, I only my star when I crossed this Jordan, but now I have become two groups. So he says, God, when I left, I left with nothing. Only my staff, with only my staff. And now I'm returning. And you have uh, blessed me tremendously. So he's acknowledging that all the blessings that he had was from God. Now in life, it is uh, easy to remember God in time of difficulties. When we are in need, we cry out to God. We ask our friends, we, uh, we ask uh, the priests to pray. Please remember me in your prayer. But in times of plentifulness, We are tempted to forget God. It's easy to remember God in time of our difficulty. It's easy to forget God in time of our plentifulness. I have personally ministered to members. I've gone to hospitals. I heard, uh, I've heard uh, that members are making uh, promises saying that, Padre, please pray. You know, Padre, I, I, I'm guilty. I usually don't ask them, but they say, Padre, uh, I, I'm guilty because I've not been in church. Padre, please pray that once I'm healed, I promise that I will be in church. In other words, I will acknowledge this healing and come from God. And then I'll be in church every Sunday to thank God. There are those who keep that promise. But from my experience, not many. Because once they are discharged from the hospital, once they are healed, they'll just uh, forget about the promise. They leave all the promises that they've made 
in the hospital and then they'll go back home and then you can hardly see them in church. And I've also come across uh, members who are very, 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 very faithful. I remember my brother Jacob, Archdeacon Jacob, sharing a testimony, a testimony or a story. He said he uh, used to attend a church, then he was a soldier. There used to be a family, uh, very faithful. They used to walk to church. Every Sunday, they will be very early. They will open up the church, sweep the church, and uh, get the church ready for service. They've been not very faithful, week after week, week after week. Then suddenly, <laughs> they disappeared. And uh, the priest was wondering what happened. So one day, uh, after a few weeks, as he was uh, going for his ministry, he had to pass a waterfall along the uh, road. And then we realized that, uh, hey, that's a family that always uh, comes to church. And uh, the family was very happy. Uh, they were enjoying the waterfall and uh, they were having uh, fun. So the priest has stopped and wanted to find out what happened. And when they saw the priest, uh, they quickly came out of the waterfall and said, Praise the Lord, uh, uh, Padre, praise the Lord. We are so glad to see you. So uh, the priest asked him, Hey, it looks like you all are having a good time. Yeah, Padre, we are having a real good time, family time. It was a Sunday. And then uh, the priest asked, uh, I've not seen you all in church for some time. Oh yeah, Padre, we are very, 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 very sorry. Very, very sorry. We have been uh, very busy, very busy. And then uh, the course of conversation, uh, the man said, uh, but can you please uh, bless uh, the car we, that we have just bought? Oh, there's a nice new car. And they took the Padre to the car and uh, the Padre blessed the car. The priest was very surprised. When they did not have a car, they walked to church. It's a true story. They walked to church. And now they have got a car, God blessed them with a car, they have forgotten God. Now they were busy using the blessing to visit their friends and relatives. They have forgotten the source of the blessing. How often are we? We follow the same kind of uh, track, temptation. We cry out to God in time of our difficulties. And uh, when God, once God answers our prayer, we very conveniently forget God. Now, Jacob is a good example. Jacob was always conscious of uh, God in his life. Always he was conscious. We know in uh, Genesis chapter 28, now, Jacob's dream at battle. Now, uh, God makes a promise to Jacob. Verse uh, 15. I am with you, Jacob, and you will, and will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this uh, land. I will not leave you until I've done what I have promised you. Now Jacob had his dream as he was uh, fleeing from his uh, brother Esau. That dream must have been uh, very comforting, very encouraging to him. Now he must have been uh, in fear because uh, he had not, I don't think he had met his uncle, uh, Laban. 
And now, because of what had happened, the family politics, now he was, he was told by his uh, parents to leave. Because Esau was contemplating of uh, killing uh, Jacob. And uh, it was uh, in that atmosphere that uh, God appeared to Jacob and said, Jacob, don't you worry. I will bless you. And then when you turn to uh, chapter 30, verse uh, 30. Now, I read for you. The little you had before I came has increased greatly. Now Jacob is uh, talking to his uh, uncle, Laban. But the Lord has blessed you wherever I have been. So God, uh, here, God is acknowledged by Jacob. Jacob says, look, yes, ever since I came to your place, you have been blessed. But the source of this blessing is God. But sometimes you and I can be tempted to take the credit for ourselves. Now why has the church grown? It is because we have a very charismatic uh, 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 priest. We have a young priest. Now, sometimes uh, we can easily fall into the temptation of uh, stealing the glory of God for ourselves. Robbing God of His glory. Claiming the glory for ourselves. But Jacob did not do that. He told his uncle, Yes, uncle. Yes, God has blessed. And uh, he says, uh, Yes, you have been blessed, but God is the source. Verse 30, uh, chapter 31, now, uh, chapter 31, uh, verse 42. And here again, uh, Jacob uh, acknowledges that he is saved, it's because of God. Now Laban had pursued Jacob and had overtaken him. And now he uh, had confronted uh, Jacob. And uh, look uh, how uh, Jacob uh, responded. It's a uh, part of his response. If the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the peer of Isaac had not been with me, you would surely have sent me away empty-handed. But God has seen my hardship and the toil of my hands, and last night he rebuked you. See how, how Jacob acknowledged God. Now, it, it, it was very clear, he said, Uncle, it is because of God. Of course, God had also appeared to a, a Laban in a dream. I told him he's not supposed to do anything to our Jacob. But Jacob here acknowledges, Uncle, it is because of God. It is because of God. Chapter 32, verse 10, I read to you earlier. I am unworthy. So we, we see how uh, Jacob was always conscious always conscious of our God's presence in his life. He told his uncle, if you are blessed, it is not because of me. I'm just a tool in the hand of God. The, the source of blessing is from God. If I'm protected from you, it is uh, God's protection. And in uh, verse uh, 10, uh, he, in his prayer, before meeting his brother, he says, God, I acknowledge. He says, uh, I went away empty, and now I have come back full. I acknowledge all this is from you. Now, this is a prayer that uh, we always uh, say. 
during our Holy Communion services. It helped me to have uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 29. The uh, offertory prayer that we say after the, when we offer the offerings is taken from uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 29. I'll read for you verse 14. But who am I? And who are my people that we should be able to give as generously as this? Once again, this is a prayer of David, King David. He says, but who am I? Now, it is a way of acknowledging God. I am unworthy. Now, I'm, David was always conscious of God's presence in his life. So he says, uh, but who am I and who are my people? And he goes on to say, everything comes from you. And we have given you only what comes from your hand. He acknowledges. David says, God, <laughs> yes, I'm a king. Now David was uh, a very powerful king. And yet, he says, in all things, he says that everything comes from you. Everything comes from you. Acknowledging God in time of our plentifulness. Now, it is easy, as I said, it is easy to forget God. It is easy to sideline God when everything uh, goes well in our life. We can uh, easily uh, put God in our booth and take the driving, driver's seat and say, God, <laughs> now I'm very comfortable. I'll take the driver's seat. You stay in the booth. When I need, if I need, then I'll take a, open the booth and then you can come and help me or you can drive. Now let us not fall into the temptation. Let us be conscious of God's presence. Let Him always be in our driver's seat. Let us always, always be grateful. Be grateful for all the blessings that we have in our lives. It's where when we are praying, we should never forget to thank God. It is easy to ask God for blessings. It is even easy to commit the day to God in, uh, to God and ask for His guidance and blessings. But sometimes we can uh, easily forget to thank God for all the blessings that we have enjoyed through the day. So let me uh, challenge you to be mindful of God's presence in your life every second because He will never leave nor forsake us. He is our Emmanuel. He is always with us, whether we are conscious or not conscious, for He is a faithful God. We may be unfaithful to Him, but He is always faithful to us. And uh, remember to thank God for all the blessings that you have in your life. God bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.